We were wild. Oh yeah, we did it in physics. We picked the right spot. We all look fabulous. I'm over the hill. Turned out to be a, a softball game with Chuck Brenner, Walt Petrosky, and Granoski and I were gonna try and put a team together to, to have like a, a reunion or a, a, a bunch of old farts trying to play softball. We figured they couldn't do it and we ended up saying let's expand it. If, if they could come in, we would try and get to see how much of the class we could get together and this is the wonderful return up. And I'm like I said, I can't hold my emotions in. I think Gene did a wonderful, you know wonderful this, job. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a uh, it's, 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 it's a labor of love. I've I've enjoyed doing everything, everything, the phone calls, the emails. I it was I said I enjoyed it. I really did. It, it took my time, but I enjoyed the hell out of it, and I'm glad that we're getting Gene's to see people. Gene's gonna do this. it again next time. I think that Gene deserves like all the credit in the world for this. I just cannot believe how, how great this is coming. Good to see everyone. Great to be here. Thanks to Gene Morio and. Mark Goldberg and other people who've helped organize this. We've had a nice turnout. It's a beautiful day. And it's really great to reacquaint with people. It's been a good time and we were a good class. And we always had a lot of class and we still do. Gene's telling me I have to get a, um, a computer. And so what are you doing now? Are you retired or working? Yeah, I'm retired. I, I, two years ago, two years it's been. And you're living where? Kingston. One of the things I'll never forget is uh, singing with whoever was up there at Carol's. Mark, Carl Stein, Carl Chinetsky, uh, Cac Olson, and whoever else was around. It's just one of my fondest memories. And uh, we did it a cappella, which I'm kind of proud of. We would just harmonize on the fly, and it came out good without even a rehearsal, that's how I remember. Oh yeah, we did it in, in physics. But I had a focus on trying to uh, copy homework or something like that because once it got out of the, the basic formulas, I was screwed. I needed help from Mark or any other generous guy that knew how to do the math. I want to lodge a protest. If I were allowed to use a calculator, I might have done better than a 70. I was lost. I tried to learn it. Made a mistake of copying from God rest his soul, Bill, Bill McCorney, and uh, I was done. But Mr. Ferris, the wheel, was kind enough to give me a 71 in trig and a 69 in calculus. I deserve less. If it weren't for Gene and Ed and Pete and Kuzma, we would be missing out on a day like this. It's wonderful. And next year, when we do it again, I want everybody to come out. Gene wanted to have it at Connor Falls Grove. And I just said, I might have a better place. So uh, we're glad we had it here. We're glad to have everybody. It's going to be a great day. It's a beautiful day. It's pouring in Kingston. I just texted my daughter, and she told me it's absolutely torrential rains in Kingston. So we picked the right spot. You're a good talk. We did that last night. You stayed with me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's I was very nice. popular. We played pillows last night. All the women wanted to be with me in high school, but I was saving myself for, I don't know, middle age. <laughs> And then middle age came along and I'm still saving myself. I keep talking, you're doing it. Well, well, someone has to do it, and since I am the natural performer here, yeah. he is the performer, those. correct. That's right. Other than that, my life, I've got lots of dogs, I love them. Dogs. I dogs. They're so much more interesting than people. Where do you live in Eileen? I live in Newberry States in Dallas. Dallas? Right there, right there at the Ritchie. Oh, I thought you meant oh, no, Dallas, honey, Texas. Don't get excited. I live in a little condo. Don't get excited. Pennsylvania? Dallas, Pennsylvania. Okay. Dallas, Pennsylvania. Right, right off the highway. Right my off the mom, highway. My mom was raised in, in Dallas. Yeah, right off the highway. Yeah. Say something. Take that stupid hat. I live in. Uh, Parsons Manor and having a great time. I know, but you know. Gary Myers.
I, I want to thank Tom Jones here because I was on the road to nowhere very quickly. And a, and a girl that we both knew um, sat next to me in a bar one night. And she said, I, I was just introduced to her. And she said, oh, I was talking How to Tom Jones last night. He said, oh, yeah, Frank Zinni. He's the only guy in our class that I know of who's done absolutely nothing with his guys. <laughs> oh, not so true. You guys share <laughs> everything? Yes, you guys and share I was everything. In, I was inspired from then on. So there I am. I deny that. <laughs> hey, Chucky, baby. <laughs> Who is it? I don't know, but it's a girl. Are you sure? Positive. Were there roughly CPD's tie-in vest? <laughs> First of all, this is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm Nancy Coleman Goddard. I lived in Kingston my whole life until my junior year of high school, and then we moved away. But it's always home, and it's absolutely wonderful to see all these people again. Many of them I haven't seen for 46 years since we moved. Uh, it's just fantastic. It was great to see everyone, and thanks to everybody who put it together, and let's do it again next year. Paula Gilbert Gray here. What a great event, and Jean did a wonderful job, and it's so great seeing everybody from high school. They all look fabulous. I mean, one looks better than the other. This has been a really great day. Thanks, Kingston High School, 66, yay! Welcome back to the class after 44 years. We all hope to see you in another 44 years, and none of us then will have any hair. <laughs> It looks like you have a good chance of making it. I may be okay, but you're okay too, so it's not a problem. It's very nice being here. Your parents? My parents have. Yeah, I want to smile. Yeah. That is correct. Poor ass. Well, geez, that could have been all of us in certain classes. Ah, come on. He had another name that went with it, but that would give it away. Was the other name Gavin? No, it was Benny. Benny Bordass. Benny Miscalis. Oh. Kingston's 10 elementary. Let's just have shout outs on this. Rudder. Rudder. Skyler. Skyler. Third Ave. Church. Rudder. Loveland. 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 Third Ave. Chester. 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 Your father was a year ahead of him. Latimer. Rich Latimer's dad. Anybody know his first name? Kermit. 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 It looks great. It was wonderful seeing her, but you all look wonderful. No, that's okay. That's okay. I just want to deny everything that Frank Zinni said yeah, about me. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh he is mad. You know what? There's bad. nothing like having a friend since you're 13 years old and always loving somebody. <laughs> And Janice is great, and look at her, she looks wonderful. You do too. She's a good friend. We are always good friends. Yep. Yep. It's wonderful. Now, you, you, come, you come into the lake from the highway and you turn to the right. Mm -hmm. And it's before you get to, what's that, the outlet? The outlet. On that end? No, no, no. Warden's Place, Warden's. to the right. I love KHS. I can remember slow dancing at the Friday night dances with somebody special. I remember lots of things. It was a good time. We were wild, and I loved it. That's enough. <laughs> we have no place to stay. We are homeless. <laughs> sleep under the bridge. No, well, we can sleep under one of these little boats. Yeah. We're homeless, Jody. I'd like to welcome everybody back to KHS, but make it 45 this time. And Mark, you got to make it back to Vegas for a longer period of time than one day. That's what I'm looking at, you know, prelude to some kind of stuff. His uniform, and he had to put mine on. <laughs> Did we get any of you and me, Marcus? Yes. Okay. It's the morning after. I feel very lucky and blessed to be with my good friend, 
uh, George Roskus, who, with whom I performed many barbershop renditions in high school. But Carl Stein is doing barbershop. He's in the Wyoming Valley chapter. When we were in school, who, who did it with us mainly? You remember? All right, you, you guys fill in, but I, everybody had their own group. I know Gene had a group. It was just fun. It was just fun. Like Kenny Vance and the Planetones outside of the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know, I don't know if you've seen that clip on yes, YouTube, but that's real good. Real well, good. it's a great clip, but he seems to carry the... I think our, I think our renditions were a little bit more egalitarian, <laughs> because mainly because none of us... Uh, it was hard to find one person capable of capable of carrying the entire tune, so yeah, we kind of switched parts. What was what was your favorite song in those times? I remember Sloop John B. If you remember anything else, Mark. Well, uh, I remember Santa Lucia. But th those were the only two words I knew. And uh, yesterday, Carl Charnetsky told me that he actually remembered more words than that. Santa Lucia, down by the riverside. You know, I was talking to Kathy Grimes a little bit yesterday, and she said that she really loved going to the auditorium after homeroom, if you recall that. We'd go and we'd sing those songs like the Lamplighter and all that stuff. And she said, that was just kind of a way of taking the stress off. And then you could go off and deal with, you know, your tough courses. Do you recall that stuff? Well, to be honest with you, I have absolutely no recollection of singing those songs. When people endure something traumatic, they have, like, selective forgetting. And so I think <laughs> that's the reason why... You know, I hadn't even thought of the song The Old Lamplighter until these guys reminded me that it existed. But one thing I do remember, which nobody seems to be able to remember, was the day the principal, Mr. James Jones, came in and said, I'd like to thank the boy who snapped the aerial off my car. <laughs> so I don't that, remember that. that which last, lasted about 2.3 seconds, I do, rem I do remember that. And there was also one item on the trivia quiz yesterday, I got to tell you, had a bit of an error in it. It was about who owned the Thunderbird. And, you, and the, the, the so-called correct answer was that Mrs. Kilduff owned the Thunderbird. But in fact, Mrs. Eva Chilson owned the Thunderbird also because I passed her house many times. It was about a, 19, a 1960 or 61. It had blue in there. And I remember it very specifically because a number of the classmates talked about trying to figure out whether or not the urban legend of sugar in a gas tank would destroy a car, <laughs> that there was a, a test bed available. Defense of Mrs. Chilson. She was a great teacher. The, the worst grade to teach is eighth grade. The boner stop pop. Oh, I shouldn't have said that probably. But. No, that's okay. <laughs> you know, you have no control over it. It's just like a teenager. You, you get... You get that tent and you get called up to the desk and then you got to do like a three-step process before you can even slide out. You got to knock the, the center pole of the tent down. Then you have to like get out of the chair and then hope. That, and every kid, every boy in the class knows what's going on. The girls, I don't think they catch it, but you have to walk like you just landed on your... Uh, Whatever was a big deal to do then, like drinking and smoking, that kind of stuff, is now a big deal if you, if you can get by without it now. And, uh, and whatever, and like that type of thing you mentioned, whatever, you know, was a problem then, now would be a blessing. They didn't have any ice in a cup for, to help the guys out, you know, and... Uh, well, no, for us, they would have needed a, like a cigarette dispenser. <laughs> yeah, one time that happened to me. I, I think you're better off if you're in the back of the room when you have to bring your... Uh, composition up to be corrected because at least it looks like maybe the kid got hurt at baseball well, or know, football or something. <laughs> it was really some human motivation and ingenuity backed up by the technology of the internet that enabled us to do this. I hope we don't wait five years and I hope that, that uh, when classmates are within a certain number of miles of each other they're going to call it something and find ways to get together. Really thankful for that and thankful for everything that everybody put into it and the effort that the people made to get there and managed to get through the uh, evening without without getting drunk to the point of unconsciousness, even though a few came pretty darn close. Yeah.